Hey, this is Zero at Review Zone HD, and I'm bringing you guys a review of Shadow of the Colossus for the PlayStation 3. After spending several hours with this game tonight, I realized how great of a game this was when it was released in October of 2005, and how great of a game it still is today. The game is based around a young man who is in an open fantasy world, free to explore it as you choose. Your goal in the game is to take down its 16 bosses and revive a girl that lays dead in the center of the world where you return many times. Let's go ahead and get into this review. After watching some video of what this game looked like on the PS2 and then looking at it on my PS3 in high definition, there's definitely a massive difference here. The developers actually stated they put a lot of detail in the game that couldn't be seen on the PS2 version because of the hardware limitations, but they do come out in this PS3 version. Some parts of the game actually appear differently, so this wasn't just a gloss over of pretty colors. This really was a remake of the graphics and the game certainly still feels very epic in scale. Especially when you get to one of the bosses and they rise up and stare at you, it will give you some sort of emotion. But the game does have a couple flaws, the camera sometimes will fight with you and there were times that my view would get obstructed. And finally they didn't fix the controls of getting on the horse, which I know that may sound like a small complaint, but you do have to do it over and over on the game so it can get a little bit annoying when you're trying to get on the horse and you're jumping instead because it's the same button. The way they did the sound in this game, it worked really well and it helped with the overall experience of the game. The only time there's music in the game is during the cinematic cutscenes or during the actual boss fights. The music actually won some awards and it's easy to see why. The game is very quiet most of the time so when the music actually does kick in, it really jolts your attention and puts a sense of urgency into the game. Hey! You talking to yourself again? Man, I worry about your sanity sometimes. I'm not so sure I'd even refer to this as a game as it's more of an experience. What I mean is that the game puts you in a very solitude vast world and as you work your way through the game it really begins to make a deep connection with you and I actually started to care as to what was going to happen next in the game. The story in this one, while very little in terms of voice and text, is definitely one of the best around because of how it is told in between the battles and the cutscenes that take place to move the story along. While at first it may appear shallow, the deeper you get into the game, the more the story will progress along. They did such an excellent job with everything to do with this game. The bonus content is interesting and actually worth looking at. The graphical remake was well done and the trophies were actually implemented well into this game, some of which will be a real treat to try to get. I have long forgotten how great this game was as it's been so many years since I actually played it. But experiencing this game on the PS3 was really refreshing and reminded me of why I enjoy playing video games in the first place. While some of the more trigger happy, unpatient type gamers will pass this title up and find it boring, you guys out there that enjoy the more artful and emotional things that a game can offer should not pass this title up. Buying a remake most of the time isn't worth buying or even that big of a deal, in fact, I just bought two remakes this week alone and neither came close to the greatness that this game offers. I really can't express enough how impressed I was with this game and the remake and can't wait to get some time to actually sit down and play it some more. I'm going to roll the closing credits and afterwards I'm going to have a very small quick preview of what the developers are working on with their next game which is The Last Guardian and this is actually included in the bonus content on the game as far as the preview goes. Anyways this is Zero at Review Zone HD and thank you for stopping by. で、
シャドウの,あのファーに比べて、まあ、もう本当に一枚一枚こうパーが入っていい意味でこう裏切ったゲームデザインっていうのがまあ作れればいいなと思います。がその自分が飼った犬と猫や犬とここが違うあそこが違うみたいな